Hello everyone, this is Dr. Mike Chu, a physical therapist, and yes, I am your alternative healthcare career coach for tonight. Tonight, we're going to be talking about how to start your kid's gym with Kelsey and Giselle Miranda, both occupational therapists. Hello Note is a truly therapist-friendly practice management solution with integrated EMR that will enhance workflow, efficiency, and patient care. Hello Note reduces error and allows you to spend more time with your patients. It comes integrated with billing. Claims are generated once a note is completed. You can bill with one click and a patient portal, which streamlines the patient intake process. Beautifully engineered and cloud-based for easy accessibility, the software works on all platforms. You can access patient records from anywhere. We also offer 24-7 support. HelloNote is the practice management solution that you're looking for. Good evening, good evening, good evening, Alternative Healthcare Career Group. Well, anyway, I just would like to promote this real quick. You got to check this out. Uh, Medbridge.com. Check it out, Medbridge.com. Type in Alternative and you get 40% discount. So, you know, for example, the course is like 100 bucks. You get 40% discount. Boom. Not 10, not 20. Not 30, but 40, 40 percent, right? Well, anyway, our topic for tonight is, uh, you know, I keep on forgetting it, <laughs> how to, how an occupational therapist started their own kid's gym or something like that, right? Well, Michael, just read the description. I can't even read it, but uh, before I keep on going, if you're watching live, comment live, watching on a replay, comment replay. Especially in our podcast, if you're downloading it on the podcast, you know, type in, you know, uh, thank you very much, uh, Michael, for for all this uh, encouragement. And uh, of course, also on YouTube. And then there you go. Let me just put this put this up. Uh, is it there? I guess there it is. There's no shortcut. Shortcut. There's no shortcut. There's no shortcut. To doing the work you know it's, this is it's so easy right there is no shortcut to doing the work and nowadays people like you know i want to do you know do this real quick and make money blah 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 well if you want to make money quickly you know sometimes you sometimes all the time you have to do things the long way the, sometimes you have to do it the hard way you know if you take it easy right now Life will be hard tomorrow. If you take it hard right now, life will be easy tomorrow. Does that make sense? Thank you very much, Seb. Severo, what is going on, brother? It was nice talking to you earlier, uh, uh, Seb. Uh, you keep it up, brother, right? You know. See, there's no shortcut to doing the work. A lot of people, they want to do the easy way, even starting a business. It's not easy. Not easy, you know. Even even the life itself, the life that we're having right now, it's not easy, right? And the key here is you just keep doing it again and again. Repetition is the key. That's why even in therapy we call it rehab, right? Re means repeat, hab means habilitate. You have to keep on repeating it in order for you to be to regain what you lost, habilitate or your life. And if you want to regain the muscles that you've lost, you have to keep repeating it. And repetition is not easy. You know, and when you're doing therapy, it's not easy. You know, I see my patients, they work out, they push and pull. They, we ask them to walk. We ask them to get out of the bed. It's not easy. And nowadays, people, they want, they want to do the easy stuff. They want to do the shortcut. You know, there's this term called, you know, the microwave uh, uh, generation. You know, you just can't microwave life. You just can't microwave business, you know. You you like, oh, I don't want to run this uh, do uh, Facebook ad and never, you know, got any patient. Well, of course, you got to go out there and network. And today we're gonna ask uh, our uh, our guest, you know, uh, Seb. Yes, thank you for the encouragement. Yes, thank you for leveling up, brother. Thank you for uh, for uh, listening to my uh, my lectures, right? Well, anyway, our uh, topic for today. Let me take the the thing. You know, before Medbridge.com, check it out. Use the code alternative, okay? Our guest for tonight, okay? Where did that go? All right. Hey, do, do you hear me? I mean, I mean, let me check. Uh, uh, are we live in our uh, uh, YouTube thing? Hello. 
Can you can you hear me if you are there in the Facebook or whatever? I guess I can hear myself now. Okay. Yep, we're live. Sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes it works. So I guess uh, uh, Giselle, Kelsey, uh, are we good? All right. Okay. So our guest for tonight, well, we got two guests special, not one, but two special, beautiful ladies that we have for tonight. Gosh. Uh, our One of the guests, obviously, the coach that teaches this class. Her name is Giselle. Giselle Miranda. I don't know. Uh, she's an occupational therapist, okay, and uh, she's the coach for the How to Start Your Kids Gym. Remember, there was a time I was telling people, hey, I want to start, you know, Jerry Hab, and then obviously we're, we're you know, we want to do the work hab for workman's compensation. And my daughter, I know I, I've encouraged her, you know, brainwash her. Hey, you need to be a PTA before you become a PT. Uh, so uh, she's going to start her own kids hab. And uh, this is perfect. This is Giselle has taught us how to start your own kids gym. So my daughter, eventually in the future, you know, we'll, she's going to start her own kids hab. So uh, Giselle right now, she is actually doing travel therapy. So I guess you can ask her. So currently she lives in Florida and just, just recently bought a house, right? It's amazing, right? So she's got two kids that are obviously homeschooled. So they're traveling all together. So uh, and then right now she... She, she is now supporting therapists who are wanting to start their own kids' gym. So uh, that's what she's doing right now. She's coaching people how to start their own kids' gym, right? So uh, that is uh, Giselle Miranda. So let's go ahead and bring in Giselle. What's going on, Giselle? Hi, Mike. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Hola, señora. ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo estás? Muy bien, muy bien. <laughs> muy bien, muy bien. Oh, I never. Did, did, you speak Spanish, right? <laughs> I do. Oh yeah, I remember you were speaking Spanish. So, uh, <laughs> well, again, uh, thank you very much again for coming over for uh, for for being for being here for helping uh, the rest of the the group on how to level up and how to start their own kids' gym. So, uh, could you please tell us uh, uh, why did why did you do this before we bring in Kelsey? Mm -hmm. Oh, of course. So I had my kids gym uh, for a couple years, about four years ago now. And um, um, it allowed me, I mean, it was, it was a great change for us. I was, you know, a little nervous to get started. Of course, I think everyone is to start a business. But, you know, with a lot of encouragement, my husband and I started our kids gym. Um, and it allowed us to be able to travel full time now. So really I do travel therapy, but only a contract a year. And that, you know, the rest of the time we travel just for fun as a family. And we recently just purchased a house here in Florida to kind of, you know, uh, have a home base, but plan to still travel around. And, and, and I want to support therapists. I've actually been doing this for a I think about a year now um, to support therapists to start their own journey with their kids gym and business that they'd like um, to start so that, you know, eventually they can reach that financial freedom too and be able to um, reach the goals that they'd like and live, um, you know, the financial goals that they want for their families. So today I'm so excited to introduce Kelsey, who is um, one of the OTs that that has been in the course. And she recently started and opened up her own kids gym. So I'm excited to hear her journey and just kind of share how well she's been doing um, with her own, her own business. Wow. Oh, wow. Well, you, you see that ladies and gentlemen, you see what, uh, uh, what we're doing here in this group. We, the experiences that you have, it can be created as a class or a course, and you can mentor people. Again, follow the mentor method that I teach. I've been teaching you. I've been preaching about that. The mentor method, M-E-N-T-O-R, letter M is meet a need. What is that need? What is that niche that you're wanting to serve, right? Next is you, do, you educate. You educate people how you've done it or how you, you do it. Next is you network. We network with people who are actually doing what you want to do. Okay, and the next is team of winners. You know, what are you know, you, you got to find a team of people that will bring out the best in you. You can just can't, you know, just be random generality. You need to be meaningful, specific, and find the people that are actually going to believe in you. My team, you know, the, our team in Jerry Hab, they're amazing. 
And the uh, next is letter O, one-on-one -on -one coaching. You need to find a coach, and that's what Giselle did. She coached. She's coaching people. And Kelsey, she's coaching other people too, how to play in the kids' gym. And then you, you know what's the last letter? It's letter R. You repeat it. You do it again and again. That way you'll find what you call your alternative career. So before, uh, without further ado, let's go, let me go ahead and bring in uh, Kelsey and introduce her. Kelsey is actually an obviously occupational therapist. She just opened her actual kids' gym last Saturday. Last Saturday, imagine that. She Now she's offering a uh, an open play area. She's got this developmental play groups, right? She's got this camps slash special events. Oh, I want that. You know, I want that for my daughter. And then... And now she's obviously she's an OT, right? She's offering occupational therapy services there. Ain't that the win-win there? Imagine that, you know, and then right now we talked about it. Uh, having a team, she's working on bringing a speech therapist now. Well, duh. Why no, why no PT, you know? So, <laughs> all right, without further ado, let's go ahead and bring in Kelsey and Giselle. Where you are, ladies? There you are. So again, thank Hi. you very much for coming over. So, Kelsey, could you please tell us, uh, you know, I'm excited. Could you please share us your, your adventure, your journey, and how you started your uh, uh in your the company name whatever you know mm -hmm. company name you have kelsey bush's play gym or whatever <laughs> sure so i started watching some of your videos on youtube mike and i came across um giselle's course and I messaged her a few times and asked her a little bit about the course and once i purchased it i knew as soon as i watched it this is so cool i've got to do this um you know kids in my area could really benefit from this so here we are. And I, like you said, I opened last Saturday and the name of my um, play gym is the play hut because I purchased an old pizza hut. So we went with the play hut. Really? Yeah. I've been looking at Love the there are a lot of pizza huts <laughs> that are closing now, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh gosh. Yeah. Well, you just gave me an idea. <laughs> There's this one pizza hut here in Union City. It's like 10, 15 minute drive from here. Yeah. And, and yeah. Did you change the color? <laughs> the, yes. The so, yeah. So the outside, um, we're still kind of working on, but we've added some rock to the bottom and we're going to do some board and batten on the side and change the color of the roof. So that's a work in progress, but the inside is finished. So is that where you at right now? I am. Yes. Oh gosh. That's you so are, nice. Um, Look at that. Can, I can see a little peek back there. Yeah, I can, uh -huh. yeah if me, you want me to, I can you, take yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. And take you on a little tour. Wow. Oh, yeah. Look Great. at that. Look at that. Okay. Oh, wow. So here is my infant section. Infant section. Okay. Yep. So over here we have um, the mirror with the standing bar. So for kiddos trying to stand and they're having a hard time, they can use that bar. You're making me themselves. jealous, Kelsey. I'm like, I'm here <laughs> starting my Jerry halves. Like, oh, I want to do the kid stuff now. <laughs> oh, wow. Let's see. And then over here we have a little imagination station dress up center. So oh, it wow. has different occupations like a surgeon, doctor, construction worker, different things like that. Uh huh. Yeah. And then we have. Sink there. Yeah. And then I'm we have. Play this. there now. Yeah. And this is a Cedar Works play set. The kids have mm -hmm. loved it this week. And then we have a jumperoo. Mm hmm. So this, the, the kids just, you know, they can get on and jump. So it's kind of like a trampoline, but it's a little bit, you know, safer for the kids and more than one can get on it at one time. Okay. Wow. And then over here we have a rock wall. Look at that. Look that looks that. awesome. <laughs> oh, wow. And then my husband built some um, playhouses. Well, well, I can't do that. So <laughs> we'll probably hire your husband. <laughs> my, my husband helped me with a lot of do it yourself in our kitchen, too. So did you too, Giselle? <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Then we have what a little construction zone. Oh, oh, that's so amazing. cool. I love it, Kelsey. And then we have a little house over here. Mm -hmm. Sorry, it's kind of, it's backwards, so I'm trying to figure this out. And then we have this a little kitchen. We're on live video right now. <laughs> <laughs> and 
And then inside the kitchen is like a little washer and dryer. Look at that. And a little, oh, they got a little table. And then we have a little grill and a campfire. Mm -hmm. Little lawn chairs. <laughs> it's basically like, like a, a, literally a playhouse. Yeah, it is. And then I'll take you back here. Sorry if I'm making you dizzy. No, you're fine. You know, we're this, enjoying it. This is our seating area. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the play hut. There you go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is our fine motor section. Wow. So we have a chalkboard and a magnet um, board. And then my husband built these as well. So we have a little. Idea, you know? yep. My daughter, my, my wife's probably <laughs> cool. watching right now. She's like, why can't my husband give me a and then I also did um, took Giselle's suggestions as to do birthday parties on the weekends for extra income. And we have back here was the kitchen of Pizza Hut. And Ooh. so we redid it and we have a oh, area gosh. for birthday parties. Amazing. This is, and then they do the birthday party there to eat and then kids go in, they can play and then. Oh, wow. Yep. So that's kind of our space um, that we have right now. And then I'll also use that back room for some more quiet one-on-one -on -one therapy for evaluations and things like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. That is so amazing. That's very inspiring, Kelsey. Thank you. So, so what state are you at right great. now? <laughs> what did you say, Mike? What state? I'm in Virginia. Virginia. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's amazing. So yeah. you call it... Uh, Play Hut. Yep, the Play Hut. The Play Hut. Oh gosh! Mm -hmm. So you did you learn all of this in Giselle's class? I mean, I was. I did. Yes. Was I there, Giselle? <laughs> yeah, she has a wonderful step-by-step -step guide that I have printed off, and it's I have went through it over and over and over, and marked in it, and it was very you know easy to follow, and took you right to where you needed to be to you know all of the hoops that you have to go through with you know, finding insurance for the playground to be open to the public and different things like that. And it was really, it's really helped me out. And I would never have been able to do this um, if it wasn't for that course. So I, I really appreciate it. Amazing. Amazing. Ain't that an inspiration mm -hmm. there, Giselle? Giselle, do you have any questions for Kelsey? I mean, I'm just in shock and awe right now. I mean, look, I'm look at what's excited. I mean, we, done. We, we've been talking throughout the whole, her whole process. So, you know, in communication and with each step. So, and I got to see some pictures of opening too. Mm -hmm. So, but you know, to see it actually in video and live and how everything's kind of laid out, it's really cool to see and exciting. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, I'm just, I'm proud. I'm proud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, you know, literally that's, that's, that's what I'm feeling right now. I'm so mm -hmm. proud of you, Kelsey, for, and I think this is also the feeling of the coaches. I hire coaches too. And when I say, uh, you know, uh, we're starting this, we're starting that, they're literally, they they tell me, Michael, I'm very proud of you. And now I'm looking at, look at that. I'm looking at Kelsey in the show. You know, it's, and and you're, you're just really proud. I feel like, uh, you know, when my kids go to school and then they get this award <laughs> or something, my daughter's been just driving lately and I'm just so proud. And that's what I feel right now, Kelsey. Mm -hmm. You know, you showing me all this stuff and everything. So How I guess has my your next first question. few weeks been, Kelsey? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's went really well. We had um, quite a turnout on opening day. And I did different little incentives um, for the membership. So... I, Giselle also did the memberships and that I really feel has been beneficial because, you know, that is monthly revenue that you don't have to worry about trying to get people to come in and play. And so that, I, you know, has helped a lot. And so I had did some incentives on opening day for, you know, if you signed up for a membership this day only, you know, receive half off of a birthday party and different mm -hmm. other things. Um, and I had, you know, really good turnout with that. And then, this week, we've had our first little camp, our Mermaids and Pirates camp, and that had a great turnout with that. And next oh. week, we're going to have a, our first sensory camp, and it's the theme is down on the farm. And my husband is going to bring in some real calves, and we're going to let the kids feed calves outside and do different oh, sensory. Okay. Yeah. And we'll do different, like, you know, sensory things with hay and dirt and letting them get their you know feet in the dirt and feel different textures. So kind of OT things in mind, but it's for you know, everybody. 
Right. So. Do you feel like the community has been yeah. good with kind of embracing your new business oh, yeah. and getting the word out? And Oh, yes. It has been phenomenal, more than I could have asked for. I, you know, constantly I'm getting notifications of new page likes from my business Facebook page. And yeah. it has really taken off um, more than I thought it would. But we'll be starting this coming week, our developmental play groups and I already have kids signed up for those. So I'm excited to do oh, that. That's great. That's great. So what's your what's here. your website again, Kelsey? Do you mind putting in the private yeah. chat? I'll put on the banner thing. Oh gosh, I'm just so proud of you for doing this mm -hmm. and for taking action. So, uh, so where did you get and all this? Even stuff? more. I'm sorry to interrupt you, Mike, yeah, but cool. even more so to have done it. You know, I feel like so many people are fearful to kind of take action, especially during this year of COVID and the uncertainty and all of that. But for you to have taken action even in that moment, you know, and made it happen and made your started your business. I mean, that's very admirable. So I think I'm just excited for you. <laughs> you know, what's funny, funny you mentioned that, uh, uh, Giselle, that uh, most of us, you know, we're like crisis, crisis, crisis. You know, mm -hmm. it's either you're in a crisis, getting out of a crisis, we're getting into a crisis. And it's a matter how you handle and manage the crisis in life. And uh, in the, I always say this word, in the middle of a crisis lies, a, lies an opportunity. Yep. There will always be opportunities out there. Yes, is it going to be easy? No. Is it going to be hard? Yes, it's going to be hard. But in every crisis, there's always an opportunity out there. And this is what Kelsey did. Is it, is it the perfect timing? Definitely not. <laughs> Imagine that. But when but will it be? You know, it's when just will it it's, be? It's when you make it the right time. So yeah, there you go. So mm -hmm. uh, thank you for taking action there, uh, Kelsey. Uh, before I keep on going, check out her website. The website is called the, the Play Hut dot net if there's a facebook page please like it and subscribe because uh we, we want to support you know fellow therapists who are actually winning and you know changing the game uh kelsey i'm gonna ask you a quick question um uh, mm -hmm. how much is your monthly fee for those play area thing so i have two different uh memberships i did the first one is thirty-five dollars and that just includes unlimited play um anytime that we're open and then the second membership includes unlimited play, but it's with one weekly developmental play group. And that one is 65. And that also includes um, bring a friend for free once a month, um, one mm -hmm. free coffee for whoever brings the kiddos in that day. Uh, some 20%, uh, 10 or 20% off. I can't remember exactly which one I did, but off mm -hmm. of special events um, so much off birthday parties. So I just tried to throw in different little incentives to hopefully um, you know, get people to purchase the memberships because I feel like that's, you know, kind of where your money is with this. Amazing. I mean, and it, it decides I mean, it's nice. It's, it's, mm -hmm. I mean, they get to play, you know, uh, maybe you'll probably have a bouncy house there outside <laughs> somewhere, right? <laughs> yeah. That would so be cool. uh, let me ask you this too. Where did you start? A lot of people will be asking, you know, uh, where do I start? Well, I, like I said, I basically started with just stumbling across this, um, following you on YouTube and Facebook. And, you know, I really felt like this would be, it's really a need for the kids in my area. We don't have anything for them here, especially the younger kids. Uh, my gym is basically for kids six and under. Uh, the occupational therapy services, you know, are in age, but as far as open to the public, it's six and under. So I just really felt like, you know, it would be something great for the community. And it has been. And I have really, I mean, just the comments and the messages and the calls I have gotten for, you know, what I'm doing for this community. It just has really made me feel like I'm doing something good and doing the right thing. And really thankful that I stumbled across finding Giselle's course. Amen. Amen. There you go. There you go. Giselle, do you have any questions for Kelsey? I keep on asking stuff. I have like <laughs> plenty of questions in mind. <laughs> what was what was the most difficult part really of starting was it just that you know kickstart part or do you feel like it was a smooth process overall yeah so i guess the biggest thing was just kind of fear of the unknown um you know covid of course right when i was starting to think about it you know that happened and i just went with it and you know so far i've 
it's done pretty well. And I've had a few parents that, you know, have asked me different things because they're worried about COVID. But overall, mm -hmm. that part has been okay. We, you know, we clean in between sessions. We don't allow kids to come all day long. We have breaks in between. That way we can clean pretty good um, before mm -hmm. the next kids come in. So that part I was worried about, but it hasn't really affected me. You know, just starting out as of last Saturday, I've had a great turnout. But I will say the thing that was probably the hardest was finding the indoor playground insurance. Yeah. Uh, that, was, mm. that was tough. Yeah. But I finally did. I found someone local. I wish I would have started local. I just went with um, other places and a lady in town was able to help me within two days. And so here we are. Mm. Well, so you awesome. see that again, uh, Kelsey, indoor. The indoor playground, playground insurance. Oh, what insurance uh, finally accepted this? I mean, they, they've got so much just stuff, right? So, There's lots of stuff. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And all that is kind of laid out, you know, in the course too. So, you know, exactly every step that you have to do to, to be in line with all the regulations and everything that's needed for for your business. And that's another thing I will say that um, Giselle has really helped me with, with the rock wall. Um, I was getting a roadblock with that with several of the um, insurance carriers and I would reach out to her and she would tell me exactly what else I needed to do. And we were finally approved. So. Wow. Yeah. Because the rock wall is a high, <laughs> yeah. very high risk mm -hmm. for falling, right? <laughs> Injuries and everything. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, I guess I know Giselle uh, outlined all the work to get the equipment. So, mm -hmm. did you, uh, what you want? Did you, uh, I know you said your husband built some of the, the furniture or whatever you call that. Mm -hmm. uh, where did you literally buy them? I mean, online, online, they delivered um, it, installed it, and stuff like that. Yeah. So, basically, my husband um, and other family members have done all of this in here. The, play set um, behind me that was purchased um, online from Cedar Works. They have really nice indoor play gym sets and outdoor play sets too, but that was purchased and um, my husband went and he took a cattle trailer and picked it up and brought it and set it up. But everything else, I mean, he's basically built everything to save money. So we, mm -hmm. that's what I've been doing. In our he was able to do that. Oh Yeah. <laughs> You got to do what you got to do, right? That's right. Yeah. The sweat I mean, equity there. Talking about that too, like there are a lot of people that are fearful because of the initial amount of money that you need to start a business. But, you know, like when I was doing my initial research, I was looking into franchises and it was like $150,000 mm -hmm. to start a franchise. It was so much money that I ended up going the do it yourself route too. And I was able to save so much and starting my my business. And then there are other alternative ways to start this business too. You know, all that is outlined in the course as well, but you know, don't be fearful for, I know that's a big thing, you know, so mm -hmm. of course you think about, well, where am I going to get the, the financial support to start it off? But there are so many alternative ways to start this business to where, you know, depending on your budget, you'd be able to accomplish it. So, you know, don't let that be a limiting factor, you know, find out a little bit more. And, and if this is your goal to start a kid's gym or start, you know, developmental groups, there are ways to get that done. So reach out to me. I'm more than happy to help too. It's funny. You mentioned that, uh, I didn't have my, my brick and mortar yet. We were doing assisted living, you know, mobile and everything. And Giselle mentioned this in her course. I hope I can mention this Giselle, but she said, there are lot there are lots of facilities there or 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 uh, buildings that will give you build to suite or free rent. Well, guess what happened to what I did? We had like free rent, and then we had build to suite and stuff like that. Is that how you say it? build to suite? Build to suit. Uh, like to rent and, it out. Uh huh. And mm -hmm. we we you know we we got it you know and. Uh, uh, that's the beauty of having, you know, uh, having a coach like Giselle, where she will guide you and mentor you uh, uh, in, in starting your own kids' gym. Well, anyway, uh, there's a question here by Severo uh, for Kelsey and Giselle. 
Uh, if they need OT, are they all cash based? Uh, he used to do early intervention in early childhood as PT. So, uh, yeah, uh, can you answer this uh, for him? Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Kelsey. <laughs> okay. Um, so, with my facility, I have um, an option that we can do one on one therapy, and I am credentialed with um, all of the insurance carriers around here. But we also have the developmental play groups where, you know, there's no documentation or there's no turning it, you know, billing or anything like that. And they still will benefit from, you know, occupational therapy, different skill sets uh, just in a play group setting. Um, I also do early intervention as well through the play hut, too. So I guess it kind of is, you know, all in what the child needs. So if they need more one on one therapy, then, you know, I will take them in as a patient and, you know, be more one-on-one -on -one versus coming in and joining in with other kids in the play group. So it's kind of just all based on the kid's need for um, how my facility is structured. Perfect. That's, uh, that's to, a great question there, Seb. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. I used to offer the same, I, this, I didn't actually have insurance like Kelsey's doing. She kind of took it a, a step further, which is awesome. Um, but I kind of, I offered the developmental groups and I offered the one-on-one, -on -one, you know, if they wanted to do more of a one-on-one um, -on -one session to where you can focus more on the goals, then I did that as well. Um, but, you know, you can also incorporate more of the evaluation and treat to your kids' gym as well, like Kelsey has done. Wow. Wow. Uh, so, so Vero said, uh, thank you very much. So there you go. Yeah, if mm -hmm. Seb, if you're really interested, reach out to Giselle uh, or go to our website, alternativehealthcarecareers.com. But uh, I would recommend do one thing at a time, man. So, uh, yeah, uh, so Kelsey said about insurance and everything. What are your major insurances that you accept there, Kelsey? Um, so, so far, uh, Medicaid, Anthem, Blue Cross Blue Shield, United Healthcare, Aetna. I decided to take all um, of the different insurances, regardless of the reimbursement, just because, like I mentioned earlier, there's nothing in this area for the children. And I just wanted to be able to offer something for everybody, especially for the kids in need that either have to travel an hour and a half to get services or have to do them online. And, you know, sometimes online is not the best for every child. They need that one on one face to face. So as of right now, I'm accepting all, um, you know, the different insurance providers. Amazing. Amazing. You know, that that's a good thing, too. A lot of people, they would say, you know, oh, I just want to do cash and I uh, want to do, uh, you know, no no insurances. But uh, accepting insurances are actually a good thing. Why? Because it, it can be funneled towards your cash-based uh, mm -hmm. uh, program or practice. So that's a very good thing, you know. Uh, nothing against those people who just purely cash, you know, I mean, I know they're awesome, but for us, Medicare, you know, once they're done with their Medicare program or, or reach their cap, we can transition them to, uh, you know, the wellness program, which is, you know, personal training, you know, group exercise and stuff like that. So it's very important that you, you know, you find that specific model or Giselle and Kelsey could, uh, could guide you with it. So, uh, Giselle, do you have any questions again for, for Kelsey? Before no, we go on a quick break. For Kelsey. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I have any right now. You don't have any right now. So we are just going to go on a quick break. We'll be back in a few minutes. Hello Note is a truly therapist-friendly practice management solution with integrated EMR that will enhance workflow, efficiency, and patient care. Hello Note reduces error and allows you to spend more time with your patients. It comes integrated with billing. Claims are generated once a note is completed. You can bill with one click and a patient portal, which streamlines the patient intake process. Beautifully engineered and cloud-based for easy accessibility, the software works on all platforms. You can access patient records from anywhere. We also offer 24-7 support. HelloNote is the practice management solution that you're looking for. Yes, that is Hello Note. Check it out. Uh, we use Hello Note for our outpatient clinic. We're going to ask Kelsey what uh, documentation system she uses. I think uh, uh, Hello Note can also do pediatric stuff if you want to do pediatric. I mainly do geriatric uh, Medicare population. So we use HelloNote.com. Check it out. HelloNote.com. 
Uh, it's amazing. It's it's just awesome. It's amazing, right? All right, so before I keep on going, tonight we are interviewing Kelsey and Giselle. Giselle is the coach for the How to Start Your Kids Gym. And then uh, a student that she had is Kelsey. She opened up her own kids gym by the guidance of Giselle. And now she calls it the Play Hut. Check it out. Uh, let me go pull up that uh, website, ladies and gentlemen. It's called the Play Hut. Dot net. Why play hut? Because uh, I was going to ask her that. She, they got the previous Pizza Hut building and they just made it the play hut. You know, imagine that. It's so amazing. So uh, uh, check their website out. And of course, you know, I'm supposed to say, you know, <laughs> uh, hello note.com. Okay, right? check it out. All right. And then uh, speaking of that, I'm just going to show you this real quick. Yes, check it out, sarahabfitness.com. I actually bought that class, you know. You got to invest in yourself. I personally believe in, you know, we. I teach a class. I have a CU class. I uh, I just don't teach a class. I also invest on myself. So I buy classes too to improve on myself. I have a speaker coach. I have a business coach. I bought that uh, Therahab Fitness uh, class from Patrice. And you know what I did with that, with that class? I we we are using it in our program and we're opening up our own Jerry Hab physical therapy if uh, if Kelsey has her the play hut we created quote unquote from a coaching from another person she coached me uh what's her name <laughs> Patrice coached me on how to start my own uh, Jerry Hab and now we call it Jerry Hab physical therapy and same thing with Giselle she coached Kelsey you need to find a coach ladies and gentlemen you cannot do this on your own if you think you can do this on your own, guess what? You're highly mistaken. You need to find a coach. You need someone that will guide you and mentor you. Even great basketball players, Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, rest in peace, sir. You know, uh, the recent champions, you know, uh, Giannis Antetokounmpo, you know, Milwaukee Bucks. He has a coach. They have a coach. You can be the best player in the world. But you need to have a coach in order for you to reach your next level of greatness. Michael Jordan didn't reach his next level of greatness until he was coached by Phil Jackson. Is Phil Jackson a better basketball player than Michael Jordan? Definitely no. But he was a coach and because he can see and guide and the, see in the greatness on Michael Jordan. And same thing in your life, same thing if you want to start your own business, same thing if you want to find your alternative career, or whether you're watching right now as a patient, if you want to be a, a better person or stronger, you need to find a coach, a therapist that will bring out the best in you. All right, so let's go ahead and bring back uh, uh, Kelsey and Giselle. I know they're very busy, and uh, it's too late there. We're just going to ask them what's the biggest challenge in their journey uh, and then how did they turn it around? So uh, Giselle or Kelsey, I'll, I'll probably start with Giselle. Giselle, what is the biggest challenge you've encountered in opening up your own kids' gym? Um, I would say just that init taking that initial step. I mean, it can be scary. I get that. <laughs> um, you know, to leave what what's secure, more of like a full-time job and that you know that and to start something that you're not really sure how it'll go. And it, taking that first step is, is scary, but ultimately it was worth it. It's allowed me to find that financial freedom, travel full time with my family, be able to coach other therapists who want to, you know, start their um, kids gym. And so it's been a positive uh, step in my life. And I'm grateful that I took that 
took that initial step. So. <laughs> wow. Wow. You know, it's funny. Uh, she mentioned that, you know, it's, that's true. You know, the first step is really the hard one, but once you gain that momentum, just like running and walking, you know, just do that first step and then lean forward. <laughs> And of course, you have to have the right muscle, you know, strength and group, you know, the eccentric and the concentric movement. But, you know, you, you just have to do that first step and have that momentum. And then you're, you're eventually you're going to fall. You know, it's, it's not going to be perfect. You're going to you're going to fail. You're going to fall. But uh, the key here yeah. is you're moving and falling forward. It's not easy, but up. it's worth it. It's worth the work uh -huh. to put into it. So true. So sir, thank you very much, yourself, for encouraging the group. Uh, how about you, Kelsey? Uh I mean, what's the biggest challenge that uh, uh, fa that you face in starting your kid's gym? And then how did you turn this around? I guess um, more so than a challenge, maybe my biggest fear, um, obviously, you know, kind of how I mentioned earlier, I purchased uh, this building instead of renting a building, um, which was kind of scary. But we got a great deal and I just thought, why not go ahead? Um, you know, it could be something even, you know, on down the road, if things, you know, say I get to the point where I don't want to do a kid's gym anymore or, you know, anything, we could rent it out, you know, different things like that. And I had to keep that in mind. And so that was the biggest worry was, you know, is this the right time to do this? Um, things like that. And then kind of how I mentioned just, making sure that everything would go through with the insurance. That was the biggest um, challenge I guess I faced was at first not being able to find one. But then, like I said, um, I found one local. So that was probably the biggest challenge. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Mindset is very important. It's very, very important, ladies and gentlemen, that fear and worry. You know, mm -hmm. you know what fear means? F-E-A-R, false evidence appearing real, ladies and gentlemen. We're fearing this 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 false evidence, and it looks like it's so real, but in fact, it's just here in our mind. And uh, if we just get past that fear of failing, there's two types of fear: you no know, fear of failing, and then the fear of success. You know, your fear of failing is like, oh, what happened? What 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 now? Well, guess what? The worst case scenario, Kelsey Giselle and I could go back, you know, apply for a job, you know, <laughs> somewhere else. Right, if we yeah, fail this business, we have something to uh, fall back on. That's true. Yeah, <laughs> you know, we we got their therapy license, but right? Then I always say, like, I rather say that I did it and failed than to stay with that "what if." What if I would have done it? What if I would have been successful? What if it would have been great? You know, just kind of stay with that doubt. I rather just jump in and give it a try, give it my all, and you know, and make it work. Mm, mm -hmm. So true. That's mm -hmm. so true. Another thing, the word that popped up when Kelsey was talking, uh, sharing, she said about the word worry. And mm -hmm. a lot of us here in our group, the alternative healthcare career group, uh, or in my personal page, people who are in my Facebook page or in the podcast, they talk about the worry. And uh, yeah, there's nothing wrong about worrying. It's just part of life. But it's worrying, it, it's, it's normal. But worrying is just like a rocking chair, ladies and gentlemen. You feel like you're moving. You feel like you're moving, but it doesn't take you anywhere. It's okay to worry every now and then. But if you keep doing it again and again, well, guess what? It's 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 just you're you may, it looks like you're moving, you know. But does it take you towards your goal in life? No. Right. Uh just have to do the first step, like what Giselle did. All right. Well, uh Kelsey, uh Giselle, uh any last parting wisdom for our group? I'm gonna ask uh Giselle any last parting wisdom for the group. Mr. Sell? Yeah, yeah, sure. Just, you know, if you have any questions or if you're even considering starting up your kids gym, reach out to me. Um, I'll have Mike add the, that's the, the Facebook group. You can also uh, message me on my personal account. Uh, the course is on the alternative careers um, page. If you want to look into it or just message me either way, I'm more than happy to help. And and I'm readily available to just help you figure out if this is the right thing for you, what steps to take. I mean, I'm more than happy to help. So <laughs> it's the right thing for you, ladies and gentlemen. Come on now. If you love kids, this is a no brainer. You just have to it's take a fun that. business. Yeah. I mean, it does yeah. well and it's fun. 
I yep. mean, you're playing. You're playing with all day long for work. I, I know, mean, right? I mean, I, mean, I mean, I enjoy the geriatrics I, because I, I can't do kids right now. Well, you know, I mean, I got three girls, so. <laughs> but <laughs> but uh, I enjoy geriatrics. If you're enjoying geriatrics, get our course, Jerihab, right? Wait, um, I had kids. I have kids, and they would come with me to the gym and help me with yeah. the groups. So it's a good way to incorporate your family into your work, too. So. I'm going to leave that to my kids and my wife. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do the Jerry Hab thing and then they can do the, what you call this, the, the kids have. How about mm -hmm. you, Kelsey? Any last parting wisdom for our friends and then where they can, where can they reach you and everything like that? Uh, yeah, I will say that uh, being worried about opening with COVID, I've actually had so many um, of the kiddos that have came in that their parents or grandma, grandpa, whoever has brought them has really um, been very appreciative of having somewhere for their kids to come with, you know, everything still being shut down and people not opening things back up because they said, you know, that their kids have just, they've suffered from not being able to be around other children and that they really appreciate having this so their kids can get some socialization. So, you know, that's something to think about if you're worried about, you know, opening with COVID. Mm -hmm. That's just, you know. I, and I being... And being healthcare professionals, we know how to disinfect, right? right. So they are more confident. Oh, I'm gonna go up because I know there are therapists and you know healthcare professionals. You know, I'm assuming, you know, quote unquote, they're, uh, they're gonna clean it, right? Unlike with a regular mm -hmm. play area, right? So we know the protocols and how to clean, clean, disinfect, and stuff like that. So. Again, uh, thank you very much, Kelsey, for leveling up. Uh, thank you very much, Giselle, for answering the call to be a coach in the group. Uh, again, uh, before I let you go, uh, any last parting was, uh, you know, you good, uh, you're good, ladies, before I close the show? Don't let fear hold you back. Take that step. <laughs> Kelsey? Uh, just if you're interested, um, even if you just want to learn more about it and not take the step yet, Take Giselle's course. It's you know it's laid out very nicely and it's thorough and straight to the point and it's worth it. <laughs> wow, wow. Well, thank you very much, Kelsey, and thank you very much for answering the call. Because here's the thing: many are called, but few are cho chosen. We're calling people left and right here. We're showing this show left and right. We're putting it in our thirty how many thirty thousand thirty two thirty three thousand member group. We're calling it almost everyone, but a few few answers the call and few are chosen. And the key here, ladies and gentlemen, are you answering the call? Are you answering the call to be better? Are you answering the call to be amazing, not just for yourself? Don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong working for someone. There's nothing wrong doing you know business for yourself. But if you're answering the call for your passion, for your purpose, the profit and the productivity will follow and everything will be followed. <laughs> everything will follow through. That's what I meant. Again, thank you very much, Giselle. Thank you very much, Kelsey. Appreciate you. But before I let you go, ladies and gentlemen, I'll always remember the word fast. F-A-S-T, letter F. Find friends that will push you to your next level because you are the average of the five people you hang out with. Who you hang out with tonight? I hang out with Giselle, the awesome uh, coach for uh, uh, how to start your kids' gym. I hang out with Kelsey Bush, you know, the owner, CEO of uh, uh, the playhut.net. Check it out, you know, check it out, playhut.net. Support our fellow therapists in their own uh, uh, businesses, right? You know, you are the average. You know, if you're hanging out with people who are amazing, guess what? You're going to be amazing too. Do you think I'll be able to start my own outpatient clinic or Jerry Hab clinic if I hang out with my uh, other therapists, you know, that are pulling me down? No. I had to call Giselle. I had to call Emma. I had to call Kara. I have to call Greg Todd, uh, Engelbert Devera. I have to call, you know, people who are actually winning because I want to be like them. If you want to, you know, you know, you hang out in the barber shop. Guess what? You're gonna get a haircut anytime soon. Go to a a, a a nail salon. You don't even even you don't want it. You're gonna have a nail polish or 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 a manicure or a pedicure, right? Because that's 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 their environment. So stop hanging out with people who are actually you know Debbie Downers and pulling you down. Okay, all right. 
You know what's the next letter? It's letter A. You gotta learn how to take action. All this stuff that we're doing, it's not gonna do me good. It's not even gonna do Kelsey or Giselle good if you don't take action. Take action by reaching out to Kelsey if you are in Virginia. You wanna support the the hut, the the kids, whatever, forgot play hut. You know, reach out to her. Reach out to her, you know, support, you know, share, subscribe, uh, you know, uh, her her channel. So take action by reaching out to them and also to Giselle on our website, Alternative Healthcare Careers. And, uh, you know, take action. Imperfect action beats perfect in action. That's what Kelsey did. She didn't wait for the perfect setting, perfect timing. She just took the action. And you know what? The la the next letter is share and subscribe. Letter S is share and subscribe. The more shares, the better. Share Kelsey's page. I'm gonna share it in a minute. I'm gonna look for look her up uh, in uh, in Facebook page. You know, share because the more shares, the better. You know what? The reason why we're doing that not just for algorithm, not because you know we want to do it in YouTube. You know, because we want to share. No, we're helping fellow business owners. We're helping other therapists, and and that's the goal. It, why do you think? We support or buy lemonades if we got kids here. <laughs> Not because uh, uh, it's gonna. It's because uh, we we just want to help. No, we're supporting fellow people, fellow therapists. It's a community, so support the our, our fellow therapists here at the Alternative Healthcare Career Group. Don't pull them down, lift them up, right? And last but not least is letter T on the word fast. It's letter T. You know what's letter T? Is uh, timeout. No, letter T is teach it. Why? Because when you hear it, you forget. When you see it, you remember. But when you're actually teaching it, you're actually understanding it more. And that's what Giselle is doing. That's what Kelsey is doing, too. She's teaching people in in her area, in Virginia, how to be, you know, uh, take care of their, their kids, how to take care of, uh, of people there, you know, six and below kids and stuff like that. Because there's power in teaching, ladies and gentlemen. What do you think we're doing here? We're teaching you. Why do you think school is very important? Because they're teaching you, right? Uh, so teach it, all right? Again, thank you very much. I appreciate you. Thank you very much, Giselle. Uh, Thanks, uh, Thanks for having us. Again, thank you again for uh, coming over. I know uh, uh, it's really late there, but appreciate you. Again, be awesome. Be great. Be excellent. We will see you later my Facebook and YouTube friends. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye. Thanks. <laughs> Hello Note is a truly therapist-friendly practice management solution with integrated EMR that will enhance workflow, efficiency, and patient care. Hello Note reduces error and allows you to spend more time with your patients. It comes integrated with billing. Claims are generated once a note is completed. You can bill with one click and a patient portal, which streamlines the patient intake process. Beautifully engineered and cloud-based for easy accessibility, the software works on all platforms. You can access patient records from anywhere. We also offer 24-7 support. HelloNote is the practice management solution that you're looking for.